CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice Exam. Questions 61 through 65. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 61. Which type of storage device would provide the most optimal response times for regularly accessed programs and files on a workstation? The answer is A, M.2. M.2 is a small form factor storage device that uses PCIe connectivity to offer high-speed data transfer rates which are significantly faster than traditional drives. By using an M.2 drive, a workstation will benefit from rapid boot times, instant application launches, and swift data access for commonly used files, thus optimizing the overall system responsiveness. Question 62. To configure a device with an additional layer of security, which combination would effectively establish two-factor authentication? The answer is C, password and fingerprint. Two-factor authentication enhances security by requiring two different forms of identification. A password is something you know and a fingerprint is something you are. Combining these two different authentication factors fulfills the criteria for two-factor authentication. This dual-layer security mechanism ensures that even if one factor is compromised, Unauthorized access is still prevented. Question 63. What is the primary role of a web server in the context of internet services and online content delivery? The answer is D. Platform for hosting homepages and business portals. A web server's principal function is to deliver web content that can be accessed across a network. It hosts websites, allowing users to connect via their web browsers to access home pages and business portals. The web server processes incoming network requests over HTTP and other protocols and provides the requested pages to the users. This enables the sharing of information in the form of web pages or sites. Question 64. A user has reported that some keystrokes on an older laptop's built-in keyboard are not being recognized, although the laptop functions properly with an attached external keyboard. Which of the following actions would most likely resolve the issue? The answer is B. Clean the keyboard. The issue of unregistered keystrokes on an older laptop's built-in keyboard, when an external keyboard works fine, suggests that the problem is with the physical keyboard itself. Over time, dust, debris, and other contaminants can accumulate under the keys, leading to poor contact or obstruction of the key mechanism. Cleaning the keyboard can remove these obstructions, allowing the keys to register correctly when pressed. Question 65. A company is setting up a smartphone for the CEO to use and needs a system to remotely wipe the device in case it's lost or stolen, as well as to control the installation of apps. What solution would be most suitable for these requirements? The answer is D. Mobile Device Management. Mobile device management software provides the necessary administrative control for a company to manage and secure its mobile devices. It enables remote wiping of data on smartphones if they are lost or stolen, ensuring sensitive information is not compromised. Additionally, mobile device management allows the company to manage app installations, ensuring only approved applications are used. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, 
just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.